Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Motion Builder tip of the day. This one, believe it or not, comes from one of my viewers, a viewer by the name of Boba, who sent me an email with a little video that he created uh, showing how to how to manipulate trajectories in your 3D viewport. I have to say this is a pretty cool trick. It's not something I, I knew about, and I am excited that I got to learn something new. Um, so here we go. This is the way it works. You select, I've got a, I've got an object here. I got this ball. And I've got a bounce. This is, by the way, this is literally pretty much what he sent me <laughs> almost verbatim. So I've got this bouncing ball and I have uh, a trajectory I want to turn on. So I'm going to turn on my trajectories. I'm going to set on selection. That way, if I deselect the ball, it, you can still see the trajectory. And it's not a it's not a pretty bounce, but you know, it's just a motion of an object. So now what I want to do is I want to go over to my vertex mode or hit V on your keyboard. Now I can select my trajectory. And let me uh, show you what's going on in my um, F curve editor. Now I can come in here and I can manually adjust these curves how I see fit. Pretty cool, huh? There's a there's one little caveat to this. Um, if I come in here and I actually, because want to make this feel like a, an actual bouncing ball, and let's say I break my break my curves so that I get more of a sharp hit on the ground, or if, let's say I want to come in here and I want to to adjust these a little bit more, like so. Now I got a little bit more of a sharp bounce going on. Uh, the problem is if I come in here and I start manipulating, in this case, since I manip since I adjusted the Y curve, if I come in here, I start adjusting it, you can see it's reset the, the following curve and you have to go in and you have to fix that. Um, as far as I know, there's no way of locking. Even if I sit here and say fix, I, I if somebody knows how to lock it, awesome uh please share but uh this is just a great way to come in here and be able to to look at your curves and be like okay that second bounce is too high let me let me come in here i'm just gonna pull it down there we go <laughs> and then refix my curve pull that in um also this is kind of neat let me go back here let's say I didn't have any keys uh, on, on my X and I start bouncing this ball around. Let's say it actually bounces this way. It actually set a key on the X for me. Now let's say this one is going to go. Say I want this one to be over this way. There we go. It set a key. But you will notice because I was only moving on the X value, it did not change uh, the value the value on my tangents right here on the Y. And it's because I didn't move it in the Y. I only moved it on the X. Um, so anyways, let's talk about a real use case scenario. Uh, well, one, this would be great for uh, hand keying uh, if, you're, if you're doing uh, hand key animations on a character. Uh, or you got got a hand key something else. So let me uh, let me go to here. So here's a my little toss that I did. So this is just a, another great way of saying, well, let's say where's the apex? There's the apex. Set a key right there. Now I can come in here and I can adjust. You know, visually just see kind of kind of how that works out for this in particular shot. Maybe that's too low. Maybe I want to go higher. Maybe I want her to really toss this thing up high to this guy. And there you go. Editable trajectories inside of Motion Builder. Who knew it was so easy? Uh, hey, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe. Uh, let's give a, a big thanks to, to Boba for bringing this to our attention. In fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll 
put a link to his his website down below in the description. Looks like he's worked on some pretty fun games. And uh, anyway, if you all have a fun tip or trick, send it in. Let's look at it. Let's all learn. I learned something new and uh, let's all get better at what we do. So anyway, happy animating. <laughs>